do not allow anybody to tell you that you are doing a U-turn in your career and just because you have decided to learn how to code. This happened to me after working nine years as a telecommunications technician at AT&T. Now, after nine years of working at a company that had a very large part to do uh, with the internet and it, its explosion in the 90s and how fast it took off. After working nine years at this company, working in a job that is directly related to the internet. I mean, my job included physically um, running uh, network cables, splicing them together, wiring up entire neighborhoods, getting them ready uh, or new subdivisions, getting them ready to have the internet uh, sent to their homes. I worked there doing this for nine years. And you would think that when I made the transition to be a web developer, that no one would look at that as a total career change. But that's what happened to me. I heard a lot when I was making my transition. Oh, well, good for you. You're doing a total U-turn. Well, you're doing a total uh, course change in your career. <coughs> Basically like an ant farm in here. Causing all kind of problems. And uh, it's like a little funnel spider down here. He's like having a lot of fun. He's getting a good meal going on here. A little funnel spider there. He likes to make little nests right up, right behind our stuff. Yeah. So, pretty much gotta clear that out. I don't like the phrase U-turn because it implies going backwards. And I don't like to look at it as a, a total change in course because to me, I'm still going forward. I've not swerved to the left or to the right in my career. And so whatever career you are coming from, do not <laughs> allow anybody to tell you you've turned backwards or you've made a left turn somewhere. You are still moving forward. Now, let me give you an example of, of um, my experience here. So I'm here on Udemy and a very popular course on Udemy is this course here, The Complete Web Developer in 2020 Zero to Mastery. Um, this course was created by um, a well-known individual in the web development industry, Andre. As you can see, he has uh, 119,690 students enrolled. He has 34,926 uh, ratings, and he's sitting here at a 4.7, which is excellent for Udemy because there's always trolls and haters. Um, but Andre is um, he's very well known. He keeps this course updated. As you could see here, I bought the course on uh, July 23rd, 2019, and he last updated it. Uh, May 2020 and at the time of me recording this it is currently May uh, of 2020 so he's regularly updating this course but I wanted to look at just like the first three sections of his course here um, the introduction how the internet works and the history of the web these three sections right here that occur within just the first hour of this course, um, depending on how deep you go with this, these concepts could take years to learn. 
As a matter of fact, uh, Andre admits uh, in one of the videos here that even uh, certain things is how the internet uh, works when you're browsing the web that took him years to understand that concept now this is before you even get to HTML CSS and then JavaScript later on but let's look at this course here and I just want to show you where I'm going going with this here so if we look under how the internet works and let's look at Traceroute, um, this resource here. No, not Traceroute, the Internet Backbone. Um, that's it there. And he has a nice link in this course that basically lays out uh, the entire global uh, cable network of the Internet. This is in the first hour of his course. He, he's, he's explaining to you that hey it's nice to know how this all works and how the internet was able to um, move so fast in popularity in the 90s now this concept here and the other ones he mentions in those first three sections are concepts i already learned knew about and had a deep knowledge of from my nine years at at&t which is being discredited by hiring managers and even some recruiters. And so when I go back to his course, and here's the point here. Don't allow anybody to discredit your experience with the internet and how the internet works, regardless of what industry you are coming from. Even if you are just a user of the internet, you understand something of how it works. So you are not doing a U-turn in your career when you learn how to code something that you use every day anyway. So that's really the whole point. Don't allow anybody to place a value on you or discredit your knowledge of something or tell you your knowledge does not date back as far as you think it does um, just because you are changing your course or changing uh, your career. You are not changing course, you are moving forward in the trajectory of your course. And so this right here it's just a very nice reminder that all of us have some type of history with the web as it makes mention and so too here as you can see in his course now he goes into basically uh, the history of the web and how how we came to the web that we have today now depending on how old you are you may even understand most of this already. Maybe you've seen in the, the early uh, to late 90s what the web used to look like back then um, before some of uh, the new features of CSS and, and JavaScript. So once again, if you make the decision to learn how to code, you are not doing a U-turn in your career, you are not changing course and, and veering off to the left outside of the box you should be in you are continuing to move forward and you don't need anybody to validate that for you uh, you can validate that yourself by the knowledge that you are gaining so if you like this video give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video